Yeah, so I came across this quote by uh, one African scholar in Guji Tiango. Um, and the scholar says that to understand colonization is understanding that it unleashed a cultural bomb on African people, annihilating their belief in their names, language, heritage, and capacity to see themselves. He, stated, he further states that this bombing causes them to identify with that which is furthest removed from themselves with other people's language, other people's expressions, and other people's styles of worship. That led me down a rabbit hole of studying phenomenology through a neuropsychological lens. Because although on one hand I understand um, that by decolonizing Jesus, we decolonize ourselves as, doc as Dr. Knight talked about white Jesus, um, but I wanted to take it maybe a little step before we even get to theology and understand through uh, phenomenology black people's subconscious thinking and their, con their, their conscious and their subconscious. Because I do believe that a lot of times within our church, when we talk about colonization, we think solely of, the the of theology. But the fact is until we get into people's conscious and subconscious mind and really helping individuals understand how that shows up. So the structure of consciousness, um, how you view yourself in any space, how things appear in your experience, how you experience things and the meanings that you attach to those things. These are all critical aspects of the decolonization process um, that I have been really digging myself into, particularly as I talk about racialized trauma, because phenomenology really looks at not just time, but ourselves, others, objects, events, tools, I mean, every single thing is connected in our conscious and subconscious awareness. And until we really dig into our mind in that way and connect it to our cognitive thinking and how that then influences our behaviors, that for me is where I see the process beginning uh, because people have become so resistant to you even touch on Jesus saying white and the pushback is just crazy. Why is that? And so we have to go really into people's conscious and subconscious, make connections to even the brain. I mean, this thing is so deep to me because when we think about how the brain works, the prefrontal cortex, our hippocampus, our amygdala, the our lobes, the memories, the dates, the things that have been ingrained and entrenched to the core of our brain matter until we really bring decolonization into a neuropsychological phenomenology from phen phenomenology lens i don't think that we can even begin to get people to understand why white jesus is not okay uh to even begin to understand the education the educational system and how it has impacted them and so i really really uh believe that a neuropsychological approach to decolonization as adventists is critical uh and necessary